3D printing technology is progressing rapidly, and some experts say it could revolutionize manufacturing in the future. An object is scanned or designed on computer modeling software, then sliced up into thousands of tiny layers, which are then printed out and eventually form a solid 3D object. So what we have here is a prototype Model T4 that is being printed using a 3D printing technique that is actually very similar to your uh, conventional 2D inkjet printers that everybody has at home. Now, once you've taken all the support structures off, this is what would be revealed. This is quite an aesthetic part where we've tried to get a, a walking aid uh, for, uh, for a disabled person, but we could use exactly the same approach for making lightweight aerospace components. Uh, and again, this is showing making a fairly conventional polymer uh, process, but we can also make this in metal. In a small unit in East London, Mackie Lab are producing individual dolls. Perhaps you'd expect them to be produced in a factory in China, for example. But 3D printing makes it economically possible for them to be made in the UK. Instead of um, having to make a mould and then having to make millions of the same thing in order to pay off the price of the mould and the manufacturer, you can make individual objects one by one. It means that a startup in London can make toys in London now. The Industrial Revolution brought us mass production. But some people now wonder if the digital revolution could herald the dawn of a new era, mass personalization, a return to craft.